We are in the middle of a new pandemic. I may be late to this, but it needs to be talked about. Minecraft Shorts Channels. If you don't know what these channels are, they basically produce short Minecraft clips that typically show an exploit, cheat, or mod being used in a fun or entertaining way. What's interesting about these videos is that unlike other shorts channels, these don't use the typical shorts hashtag which turns their video into a TikTok form. Instead, these videos are uploaded just as any other video that has been uploaded on YouTube for the past years. And these videos typically gain over 100,000 views each time, sometimes even millions. And it got me wondering, how do they do this? And why are so many of these channels popping up? Well, first we have to find out how this started, and I came across Mega Manny. Mega Manny has been making these videos for about 6 months now, and by the looks of it, he was the one who started this trend. But why do people watch these videos? I think we all know why. Kids. Yep, that's right. Kids every day on YouTube stumble upon these videos and since they are so short, they can watch as many times as they want without having to worry about them because after all, it's just a few seconds of their day that's being used up. But how do they get recommended to other people? Well, it all has to do with audience retention. What is audience retention? Basically what this means is the longer you can make a viewer watch a video, the more likely YouTube's algorithm will pick up on that and recommend it to others. But you may ask yourself, how is this possible if the videos are so short? Wouldn't YouTube's algorithm favor longer videos with longer audience retention? Well that question can be answered with another channel. A channel that shot this genre into the atmosphere and basically broke the algorithm. That channel is Stevie. Stevie started uploading just 3 months after Mega Mani, and in just 1 month he was able to hit 1 million subscribers. He did this the same way Mega Mani did, but why didn't Mega Mani get the same effect? That's because unlike Mega Mani, Stevie branded himself as a Minecraft channel. And also unlike Mega Mani, Stevie has well made clickbait thumbnails that basically show what the video is about. And if you notice, Stevie's titles usually don't really correlate to what the thumbnail is about. It's either something relatable or some type of meme. And that is also because of kids. Just kidding, it's because of how our puny human minds work. We are visual creatures after all. We react to things visually. What is the first thing we see before clicking on a video? That's right, the thumbnail. Oh, and another tidbit. In his descriptions, he uses the hashtags Minecraft, Meme, and Memes, which could also have an effect on his videos. But like many great channels, they will also inspire copycat channels. A few examples of these are Spectator, Zombie, Stevie 2.0, who basically re-uploads Stevie's videos, Umbrella, and so many others that I wouldn't even be able to list them all. So many copycats that either make similar videos or straight up re-upload them. And believe me, I tried doing this as well, but unlike Stevie and all those other channels, I tried using the shorts hashtag which did help but it's not really what I wanted to do. These channels have been popping up everywhere and it looks like they are trying to replicate the exact same thing that Stevie has done. The fact of the matter is, they won't be able to. Even though Mega Manny was the one who started this genre, Stevie did it better and it worked. Stevie was able to take something that someone has already worked on and improve on it tenfold. He is 300k away from 2 mil and I believe that he will hit this milestone within probably the next month or two. Stevie might well be the next Minecraft creator to rise to the top because of how interesting and short his videos are. Anybody could watch them no matter what language, ethnicity, or country you live in. It doesn't matter who you are, you could watch this video as long as you're not blind after all. And these videos will keep being recommended to people and people will click on them because it's just a few seconds out of their day. And then those seconds turn into minutes, and then those minutes into hours, and then oh my gosh, I forgot to do my homework. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and follow the Twitter down below because I'm going to be posting much better content soon.